Hey guys, this is Kamiguno, and today I'm doing a review for Ant-Man, so let's start talking about this. I know it's a bit later, um, I still have to watch Agent Carter, which I will also have a review for tonight, just a lot later tonight, so it's in the middle of the night, sorry guys, uh, but I definitely want to have a review for both this trailer and um, Agent Carter, because there's they're big things for Marvel. So Ant-Man is a movie I was a bit skeptical about just because of all the production things I've been hearing, directors leaving, act well I don't think any actors left, but definitely the big news being the director leaving, even though this was his passion project. So what did I think about the trailer? We've all been saying how we have to judge this movie once we see this first trailer. And I gotta say, this was a really well done first trailer. Is it action packed? Not really, but you definitely get to see the effects of the ant and you know, how he shrinks and everything. So I think you get to see the effect of that, the nice, really um, nice looking costume. And one thing I really like about Ant-Man, it's really different from the other Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. And I've had a problem with, you know, Thor and Captain America movies. Um, even though I do enjoy these movies, I don't think there's that human element as much because yeah, they are human, but they're so overpowered in a way. Ant-Man, you get to see a really well done human element, and I think this is the first time since Iron Man where it feels like a fresh new origin story to really open up. And that's something I'm really excited about Ant-Man because we haven't seen that in such a long time because we know who Thor is, we know who Captain America is, we know who Iron Man is because we've seen all these characters. Now we're being introduced to even more newer characters into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And this has such a great grounded element and that's with Cassie Lang. I'm a huge Young Avengers fan. If you guys don't know, that daughter ends up becoming um, a superhero. She ends up having the powers of her father. Um, once her father dies in the comic. So, she becomes a hero called Stature. So, I think this is totally possible if they make an Ant-Man to maybe to bring the daughter a little bit more into the movie. And I think that's just a great um, feat for a young hero and a female hero, which of course we've all been saying we want more of. And if they can really organically do that in this movie and really present her in a great way, I think this could really open the doors to um, a movie with Cassie Lang, either as a supporting character or maybe a team character in Young Avengers. Again, that's a long way off, but uh, you know, wishful hoping and then planting the seeds for that. So overall, I love this grounded element. I'm a sucker for a good family story and it seems like you really get to dig deep into Scott Lang's character. Why he does the things he does and how he was a criminal and now he's becoming a hero. I'm still uncertain about, you know, Hank Pym being an older guy and it's definitely reworking the origin story, but it seems like they have Scott Lang intact. I'm not a huge Ant-Man fan, so I don't really have um, a problem with Hank Pym being older and maybe less utilized and them focusing on Scott Lang, but I think the big Ant-Man fans who are really looking forward to this movie might be a, dis uh, a bit disappointed that Hank Pym is not going to be as prominent as they want because he is older. And I'm also excited to see what they do with uh, Wasp in this, m in this movie, if they do anything. I know they did cast a character that could be Wasp and kind of related to Janet, but not really. <laughs> but we'll see what happens in the movie. But I thought this was a greatly toned movie, and, or a greatly toned trailer, and I'm really looking forward to the movie. I think this could be just a different type of film and something that Marvel's really looking for. Maybe more of a hard, uh, more of a film about heart than um, action and what's going to happen next and building a Marvel Cinematic Universe and just focusing on one character again. So I'm really excited for Ant-Man. Um, I'm excited for the next trailer to come out, and I'm really into anticipating this movie. But let me know in the comments what you thought about the trailer. Uh, this is Comic Uno. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Ryan Situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.